everyone. Welcome. For it is another episode of the OV, the official visit, featuring Zach Blostein. Tonight we've got Zach, of course, the talent. Now we've got the brains. We've got Kevin Little, Coach AB, my boys from X's and Knowles. But hey, they're just the side dishes. The main course, we have 2024 four-star quarterback Luke Cromanhawk. He of the Benedictine Military School from Savannah, Georgia. Luke, how are you doing, my friend? I'm good. I appreciate y'all having me on. Oh, we appreciate uh, a guy who's probably got 9 million other things to do, hanging out with a bunch of like four old weirdos on a Thursday night. So we really appreciate that. Uh, Luke, so we're going to be doing a couple things. I'm going to ask you a couple questions about your commitment uh, with Florida State, which has been almost a year now. You committed way back in March. So we're going to talk about that, the relationship with Florida State, Mike Norvell, things like that. The thing that I'm really excited about is we've actually got some of your films, some of your highlights. We're going to go through that. Walk us through it. I've seen it before. It's extremely impressive. It's no wonder you got the offer and you're committed to Florida State the way that you have. So we're going to go through that, and it's going to be great. But like I mentioned before, you have been committed to Florida State since March 26, 2022. I think that Florida State might have been the first, it, it definitely the first like major school to offer you Back when you weren't even a starting quarterback yet, you you were a backup at the time. So can you describe kind of your early relationship with Florida State? How did that whole thing start out? Yes, sir. So uh, they they were my first offer, my first like official offer. That's crazy. <laughs> um, and I kind of just I went to like a big camp that they had going on. And it was kind of towards the end of the camp season. Um, and I mean, I'd been a couple other places like Georgia and, and Clemson just camped around. Um, and Florida State was really like the last stop. Um, and I kind of just went out there with like a chip on my shoulder and was like, I'm going to ball out and get an offer. <laughs> and uh, I guess I, it just that's how it went. And then we ended the day with an offer. When did you know, like as you were going through the camp, was it halfway through? Did you know, like, hey, man, I, I'm doing really good. Like I might or I probably will get an offer after this. When did you know? Oh, it was during warm-ups. I was warming up in my bed, <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, yeah, it's on today. Uh, the, the arm <laughs> felt real good, um, and I was I was feeling myself, so I, I just knew from then it was going to be a good day. Who gave you the offer? What was the process like there? Um, so after the camp, um, Coach Dillingham brought me over to Coach Norvell in the center of, like, all the fields, and uh, Coach Norvell talked to me and my parents, and then he offered me, like, in the middle of uh, all those fields over there in that, that big park. Yeah, by, uh, um, Madison, Madison Social. Not a bad spot. Not a <laughs> no, bad yeah, spot. Yeah, we're not getting paid by Madison Social. We are not. We could be. <laughs> we'll take all money. Um, how long after you got the offer did you commit? It was a pretty quick process, right? Yes, sir. It was. Um, I think it was like probably like four months after. Um, kind of just just went through everything and just. I mean. I've kind of felt like, you know, it checked all my boxes. And, you know, right when I got that offer, it felt like home. It did. Okay. So what, what were you looking for in your potential next school? Obviously football success, a hundred percent. Was there something about the offense? Was there something about the atmosphere? Florida state was your first offer. Your recruitment has honestly dude exploded ever since then. It was really good evaluation by Mike Norvell. You're a very talented player. I cannot wait to go through your highlights, but what about it made it feel like just the right time before your recruitment had even really heated up? Right. Uh, you know, that, that first offer means something. Um, yeah. So, you know, it definitely ha held a special, special place in my heart. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind of just as, as visits went on and I kept coming back, um, you know, they invited me back uh, after that camp day to come see everything um, and get the whole experience. Um, and right then and there, I knew it was the place I wanted to be. You know, it checked off all my whole list. Um, I, I want to play. I'm a home person, so I want to be close to my home. So, you know, it's it's not too bad of a drive. It's like four hours and 15 minutes from my house. So it's Oh, that's pretty good. We can make mom and pop can make that work. Yes, sir, for sure. So uh, I'm big about having them at my games. And then, you know, just the relationship that I had with the coaching staff was was unbelievable. Um, you know, it felt like family from the beginning. Um, and then I just think, like, there's no better no better tradition um, in Florida in, – in college football other than Florida State and what they have there. I feel like the fan base is unbelievable, um, and, and the tradition is just awesome. Music to my ears. The chat must be going crazy right now. This is fantastic stuff. These are very quotable quotables. I like all this. What about, is there anything specifically like 
Mike Norvell's offense. W- w- Mike Norvell, in our opinion, legitimately like an elite offensive mind in college football. You really got to see that this year. What about his offense? His philosophy is really intriguing to you. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, I definitely think that this year showed a lot. I mean, he. I mean, the offense was 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 booming this year, big time. Um, yes, sir, for sure. And uh, I think that a big thing with him is, um, I feel like he knows what his quarterback strengths are. Um, yeah. Like when Jordan was in the game, you know, I felt like he had a game plan for Jordan. And uh, when Tate came in in the Louisville game and, and took over, I felt like he set Tate up for success. I felt like, you know, the play calling that he had for him, um, you know, matched Tate's strengths. And I think that that was huge. And, um, you know, Coach Norvell also has a really good relationship with the quarterbacks. He'll come in and sit in the quarterback meetings and, and kind of go over stuff with them. So I feel like that's also really big. So what are your strengths as – as a quarterback, when you when you show up on campus and, and you're your QB one, you know, down the road, what, how how is Mike Norvell going to design the, the offense around you? Uh, to be honest with you, I feel like he could do anything. I'm just a <laughs> <laughs> whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do. You know, I'm, I'm all about winning. And that's all I really care about is winning. So, you know, whatever, whatever he wants to do, I'm good for it. If he wants me to run the ball 15 times a game, then I'm running the ball 15 <laughs> times a game. I'm, I mean, I'm good with whatever as long as we win. I like that. I like that. What What do you guys do right now? Like I said, Benedictine Military School in Savannah. Um, what kind of offense are you guys running now? Are you, are, are you running the ball a lot? What, what does it look like now? Um, so this year they actually they implemented a lot of uh, run plays for the quarterback um, just to play to some of my strengths. Um, uh, we're, we're pretty much a, a spread offense, um, which we just came <laughs> off of like we just it just became spread like three years ago we used to be uh wing t under the center oh now you're talking the big guy's language he (laughs) like he likes all that stuff yes sir so now we just uh we just a couple years ago with uh holden gerner at quarterback switched it to spread offense because he had a huge arm um and it kind of just stuck and so now that's kind of what we do we uh we spread people out and just throw all over them came to the light side it sounds like <laughs> <laughs> have you gotten have you gotten to see some of those meetings that Mike Norvell's had with the quarterbacks or gotten to watch some film with him and coach Tokars I've I've watched a little bit of film with coach Tokarts uh not yet with coach Norvell um but uh I mean I plan on plan on doing it <laughs> A lot, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be happening a lot in your future. Uh, what, what's yes, what, what's Coach Tony like, man? He's because he's you obviously. Did Kenny Dillingham was the one that helped you facilitate the offer. They had a switch with Tony, but I mean, the results with Jordan this year were great. Give give the fans a little bit of an idea of what he's like. Coach Tokarts is awesome. I mean, he's he's just a great dude. Like total family guy and down to earth, and he's gonna shoot it to you straight. Um, and I mean, it's it's just we have a great relationship, and and he's definitely my guy for sure. And then uh, another one of my dudes is Alex, Coach Alex. He's the oh guy. yeah, and that's my guy too. Yeah, um, my little bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, I mean, both of them, they're awesome, man. Like they're competitors, and they want to win, and you know, they'll bring the energy too, and um, they just, you know, they treated me like family, and they treat my family like family, and that's really big to me. It seems to be, man. You never really wavered in that commitment at all. You've been to, you've been on campus a million times. Even when your recruitment exploded, I, there's, I haven't noticed any sort of wandering eyes or anything like that. Before we get into the film, what are your plans for Tribe Twenty Four? It's currently like a top three class in the entire nation, right where Florida State fans really want it to be. There's a really solid nucleus with you and Cam Davis and Camden Fryer and all the new commits. What are your what are your plans for Tribe 24, Luke? Because you're very active on social media. Yes, sir. I mean, I definitely plan on making it the number one class in the nation. That's the plan. Um, we got our eyes on a couple of dudes that I'm trying to recruit right now. Uh, Charles Lester's the big one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I'm trying to get him for uh, – <laughs> that would be a huge pickup. I mean, that dude can flat out ball, so – um, you know, and we got a couple other dudes that, that we got our eyes set on. So we're just trying to, you know, build this class and build something special here. I think we definitely will. Adam, Zach, Kev, anything else that you'd like to ask Luke before we get into the film and then the smart guys can talk and I can kind of lay out a little bit. No, I yeah, jump, play. yeah, I was just going to jump in for a second, but um, I guess kind of Trey, you mentioned this before, but um, Luke, you know, Florida State was was the first school to offer you. And, and you know, before you ever took a starting uh, quarterback snap what did that kind of mean to you that that Mike Norvell and, and obviously at the time Kenny Dillingham um, 
thought so highly of you early on. Yeah, I mean, it was a dream come true. Like, I never in a million years thought that I'd be in this position today. Um, so, I mean, it meant a lot. And, you know, to, to see that they took a chance on me when there was no film and no one really knew about me. And, uh, you know, I hadn't really played at all other than some safety and wide receiver was was awesome. Um, and it meant a lot. And it just it showed that they really believed in me. And, uh, you know, that that definitely meant a lot. And then, you know, uh, Trey asked you about Tony, but uh, Coach Mike Norvell, um, when you're on the visits, kind of what's he like behind the scenes? Ooh. I mean, he's awesome. He's always bringing the energy. I mean, he's always like at 100 <laughs> at all times, um, which I love. And I think it's great. Um, and he's always yelling, but he's doing that like nice yell. He's like <laughs> uh, the mean yell, but it's like he's yelling and his voice is high, but he's he's mean and well. And he's uh, he's being like the nice guy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's super down to earth and he's always going to keep it keep it 100 with you and, you know, shoot you straight, um, which I think is huge. And, uh, you know, I just I, I really do think he's a great coach and a great guy. I honestly think we'll probably find a picture of Bigfoot before we find a picture of like Mike Norvell yawning or like even looking <laughs> yeah, tired. Dude, I don't get it. Yes, yeah, sir. I mean, he brings energy every day. Luke, you ever seen him yawn? You ever seen him like wipe his eyes and look tired at all ever? None of that. None of that. He's always at 100. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Uh, any, any Anybody else before yeah. we hop into the film? Before we get in the film, on his last visit to Florida State, there was a comment about his hair. I got to know, what's the plan for the hair in the summertime, man? I'm a man. I've got great hair myself. So <laughs> Vicarious. I'm, really, I'm really curious what, what the plan is. Yes, sir. So so at the school that I go to, Benedictine, um, it's a military school. Keep so, it high and tight. Uh, we got to um, we have to have like specific haircuts. It's like one on the sides and it can't be more than two inches on the top. And they every two weeks they'll have an inspection and they'll bring like rulers out and measure it and stuff. <laughs> um, so, so I kind of have to keep my hair short, which uh, it's, it's probably the only thing that I don't like about B.C. Um, so in the summertime, we, you know, everybody in Savannah, all the B.C. dudes, they get to grow their hair out and, you know, they get all the. <laughs> they call it the flow so uh so that's the plan i want to have my my flow my summer hair for my uh, visit pictures i love it just that john b flow right before yes, the new season of outer banks absolutely <laughs> <laughs> all right let's play the film that's fantastic good question adam i knew you'd come with the hair question uh, i always i have the best hair on the show <laughs> all right so here's the film so we'll probably throw you some questions, Luke, as, as the film goes on, just to kind of see what your what your thought process is behind these plays. So just just a quick refresher on what's kind of going on here. So tell, tell me, what do you guys, what is this play? What are you looking for? So this is what we call Hawaii. Um, and then um, it cuts it off. But uh, we have the running back, who's the number three on the right side. Um, he starts in the backfield with me, and then we motion him out there. Um, and kind of when I motion them out there, I kind of just, you know, peek at the safeties and, and see if they, they rotate or, or change up anything. Um, and uh, kind of just the whole, the whole week leading up to this, we knew that this play was going to be there. Um, their, their running backs, they, they bid on the run. Um, and the safeties would they usually stay at too high and, and leave that middle field open. Yep. Um, so we motioned them out there and, uh, you know, the, the safety stayed middle field open. They stayed in too high and, you know, I just put a dart on him. I like that. It's got to be a dart too, right, Luke? For sure. Yes, sir. And uh, my guy, Ack, um, Ashley Edwards, made an unbelievable catch. To hold on to that ball was awesome. Yeah, that's a good – That's a it's an interesting route here. So he's he's widening. He gets this linebacker kind of moving outside, really opens yes, up sir. space. But, yeah, this is this is a, a small window. This isn't an easy throw. Yes, sir. And it was a big time catch too. It was. All right. What what are we seeing here? So this is the final four game. Um, this is our final four game against Troop County. Um, and so my uh my receiver on the far right, Zaquan, he's committed to Minnesota. Um, and you know, that's my guy. Uh we've been playing together since six U. Um, he's committed to Minnesota. He lived lived with me for two years. Um, so we have a really good connection and we felt like we could pick on this, this corner number eight. Um, and so this is like the drive right before half it's two minute drill. We just got the ball in a turnover. And, uh, so actually funny thing is, is, uh, coach Tokarts was at this final four game 
Um, mm. So, you know, I kind of wanted to show off the arm strength a little bit and kind of <laughs> impress them a little bit. Um, so uh, kind of just, you know, reading the safeties. Um, the other guy, the slot on the right, he runs another um, – yeah, he runs right there. He runs a, a a skinny post as well, and then it's another post over the top. It's called Cadillac is what we call it. Um, and just watching film on them, we knew that we could pick on number eight and that a one-on-one matchup with him over the middle was going to be there. Um, and and their, their safety liked to jump that inside uh, inside post. So we knew it was going to be there, and so we took a shot. Are you are you manipulating that, that uh, field safety with your eyes? Yeah, I'm trying to keep my eyes a little bit to the left and kind of throw them off a little bit. Um, uh, look over at Ladon over there. Yes, sir. Um, look at him, kind of throw him off a little bit. Um, and then I'll, I'll take a peek inside and see what that safety does. And he bites on that uh, that inside inside skinny post, and it just mm-hmm. leaves it one-on-one, man, with our, our best player against against their corner. And I'm taking that matchup every day. So he kind of bends this inside. He doesn't keep it skinny. Is he doing? Yeah, that he just- was trying to. It was. Uh, I mean, we knew that 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 outside post was going to be there, so he was kind of just like a decoy. Yeah, it's very classic. Uh, it's called a, a Mills concept. Um, yes, sir. But this executed perfection. Great throw here. Is that fifty-three yards through the air. What's the farthest you ever thrown, Luke? In the um, so the last time I did it um, was uh, it was like two years ago. At an IMG, like it was uh, the seven on seven, like national tournament, and uh, they had like a little like competition for the quarterbacks mm-hmm. of all the teams before it, the day before. And I went up there, and uh, in the long ball competition, I hit sixty eight. Oh, God, so, that's, that's what bad. a cannon, dude! <laughs> Not bad. That was two years ago too. As a freshman, yes, sir. Yeah, that's you're how I know I was never meant to go D one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we seeing here? You got a little stack formation going on. Yeah, um, so we are uh, we just came out of half. Uh, this is the drive just coming out of half. Um, this is a team that we're supposed to be absolutely destroying. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, just – you know how those games go. You're supposed to you're supposed to kill a team, and, you know, everyone's like – he gets a little big head. Um, so, really, a lot of things weren't going our ways. We had, we had a couple drops, and – couple sacks here and there and and some mistakes but um this is right out of half i think we're up 21 to 7 or 21 to 3 actually um and uh just it's it's actually the same play as the uh, the long ball in troop um to the left side we started them out in stack i cut the clip off before but um right so Quan, um who is the uh the slot to the left he was actually in stack and we motioned him in um, okay. he's he's going to run a uh He's going to run a skinny post too, and the it's the other guy Ladon on the outside is going to run a post over the top as well. Um, but uh, as you'll see, I get get a little bit of pressure. I don't like I don't like where I'm at. Um, they don't really get open um, like I like it. Uh, Ladon's there on the outside, but he kind of cuts it back. Um, and then just that connection with Quan rolling to the left. Um, you know, he come he saw me rolling and saw me escape. Um, so he he kind of you know put the moves on him and he came out to the to the left of the field and I hit him kind of for a uh, a toe tap um, on the left end zone. Hit him for Luke, you threw an absolute missile. All right, that's, that's, not, <laughs> you're, not, that's not hit him for a toe tap. That's a missile. Okay, let the man be <laughs> humble. Uh, the, Mike be humble. Norvell's I'm watching this, this, Adam. But I'm going to give you credit where credit is due. That is a rocket. All right, I appreciate it. All right, but yeah, I want to ask you this question. So you're telling me that in this game you guys aren't playing the way you want to be playing. It's right. 21 to three and a half. 21 three is obviously good, but you feel like you should be up more than that. What are you yes, saying sir. on the sideline? What, what's your demeanor on the sideline with your guys trying to get them? You know what's going on. You're not playing to the the level that you should be playing. What are you telling your guys? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, we're definitely having some guys uh, frustrated, um, a little upset, um, you know, kind of having a little bit of tantrums. Um, so, you know, I kind of just had to call the offense saying it wasn't going our way. Defense was, wasn't really, you know, one going their way. They were giving up a couple big plays here and there on some mistakes. Um, so I kind of just called the team in. We were like, man, like, I mean, we just got to do us, man. We got to stop worrying about blowing these guys out and just play the game. And, and you know, wherever it takes it, it takes us. We just got to do our thing. We know we can beat these guys by 50. So let's just do that. Like we're better than them in every aspect. So let's just do it. You're going to hear that a lot when you get to college about the process, and I'm sure your coaching staff tells you that now. 
Yes, sir. You can't worry about what those other guys are doing. You got to go out there and take care of yourselves, and the the whole game will take care of itself when you do that. Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, I mean, shoot, man, this this throw is just stupid. <laughs> you're you're running to your weak arm. This is almost forty yards in air on a dime. Yeah, that's a nice throw, man. Look, do you do you practice a lot of that stuff? Obviously, you're coached by a really good quarterback coach, Denny Thompson in Jacksonville. Like, what sort of things is that is that up to your game? Obviously, the arm strength has always been there. What what have you been refining over the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean, you I mean, you nailed it. Actually, I wanted to talk about it. Coach Denny at six points in Jacksonville. I mean, he pretty much. I mean, I got to give him all the respect for all this stuff that I'm doing on the field. I mean, um, he's he's put me in 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 the workout room and every position that I've been in in the football game and making throws from everywhere. I mean, he's, he's put me in that position while working out at, in, uh, in uh, Jacksonville, he's put me in that situation and, uh, you know, show me like what I got to do. And so we practice all this stuff um, like over and over and over. Um, and, and, you know, he's got me ready for all this. And uh, so I got to give him a lot of respect. Awesome, man. Awesome. Only heard good things about him. Obviously it's shown on the field. Yes, sir. All right, so walk me through what's going on here. You guys are you guys see a lot of cover four. <laughs> yes, sir. So this is actually Christopher Columbus. Um, they actually had an unbelievable year. South Florida, right? Um, yes, sir. And uh, you know, we actually ended up getting our butts whooped this game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we we stuck with them early and then kind of just fell apart. Um, you know, just we had some drops and some other things not go our way and kind of just fell apart. And it was it was early in the year, so the team was young. Um but uh, so this play actually, I'll, I roll to the left um, a little bit. Um, it's actually a really stupid, stupid play on my part. Uh, <laughs> I roll right to the dude and absolutely get smoked. Uh, but I, the reason is, I mean, that dude, I couldn't see where my uh, my receiver was on the wheel route. Um, number one, Quan, um, the uh, the Minnesota commit. Um, we put him in motion, and he, he's going to run a wheel. Um, and so I couldn't see him at all. So I was like, man, I got to find him. Like, and so I rolled out to the left a little bit and absolutely get smoked. Um, props to that guy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Juan, Juan made a big boy catch and I hung on to that ball, um, you know, and, and we, we, we scored a touchdown there. I love this play design. This is, this is nice. You got the, the corner covering the post and then no one to take the wheel. It's a great yes, throw. Sir. Again, yes, moving sir. to your left. Was, I'm uh, we actually drew that up that week. Um, coach DePhillips, my uh, quarterback coach and OC, came up with it, and uh, you know it it proved to work. Yeah, you got a good one there. Yes, yeah, sir. God, if you ever throw a roll to your right, you might break somebody's sternum, man. You got some <laughs> juice on those ones going to the left. Yes, yeah, sir. Luke, what's your favorite throw? What's the what's oh, the one ball you like I to love throw the most? Four verts. Uh, we four call verts. it heaven. Just air that thing out. You, know, you said you call it heaven. Everybody and throw the ball down the field heaven. 60 yards. It's not a better feeling than that. I like that. Do you guys convert to to uh, hitches or comebacks if you see them capping the verts? Um, so we're not really there yet with our receiver wise. Um, yeah. So we'll we have a uh, like film um, during the game. Um, so we have someone recording. So we'll come back to the ten, and if if I see something in the game, I'll I'll, I'll talk to the coaches and be like. Hey man, this this dude's playing off like, and he's bailing. Let's let's hit him with a comeback right here. And mm. Get an easy fifteen. Um, so so we'll do that. Yeah, just the hardest throw in football by a junior in high school. <laughs> yes, sir. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that here and there. Um, and you know we we uh after every offensive drive, uh, regardless of touchdown or, um, you know turnover, we're uh, we're under the tent going over watching the film. You know. Um, offensive line coach is talking with the O-line about, about their protection calls and stuff. And, and, um, I got the headphones on listening to the, uh, to our OC, uh, coach to Phillips up in the box and what he's seeing. And I'm just chatting with him and telling him what I'm seeing. And, uh, you know, the receivers are also putting their input in. So we got a pretty good system. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, everybody, everybody knows what they're doing. All right. So I think we got, time for a few more i think this is this is some some gold here so uh tell me what's going on here luke so this play actually um so this is the elite eight game against whitewater or maybe sweet 16 actually sorry this is a sweet 16 game against uh whitewater 
Um, we're actually down 7-0 here. It's like three minutes ago um, before half. We're down 7-0. Um, you know, it's just – they uh they ran a lot of wing T and uh, triple mm -hmm. option and stuff. So I mean we, we I think we had two drives going into half. Um so this was the third drive and we just you know we we came out a little slow and uh you know their their offense did a great job of keeping the ball out of our hands and that was kind of their game plan. Um and so this is this is first down first play of uh like two minute drill left um, right before half um, down seven zero and I uh, it's supposed to be a snag concept. Um, but you know, it's just cloudy and I, I pocket gets a little tight. So I just, I take off. So who's, who's running the snag here? Number two? Um, no. So he's actually number two is going to run a corner route or he's okay, and then to run one's running route. the snag. Yeah. And then, uh, that Blackshear, Thomas Blackshear, uh, a, uh, sophomore receiver that we had, he's a complete dude. I mean, he's a freak athlete. Um, he, he runs a snag. Um, but you know, just pocket collapsed on me and, I just felt like it was it was time to get out of there. Gotcha. Is is uh the corner just an alert if you're seeing like Yes sir. Yes sir. It's the an corner alert. Playing right. short or something. Right. Gotcha. Your recall is absolutely nuts, my friend, yeah. by the way. Like <laughs> down and distance, name, you're giving them props, what college they're committed to. Uh you just run all over these kids. <laughs> like you know you know what round the state playoffs in? Uh it's gonna be fun seeing you in Garnet and Gold, man. Oh yes, God, yeah, yes. dude. Good run, man. I appreciate it. Of course. Oh wait, this was just this was unscripted, right? Or was yeah. This so this was this was not a not a design run play. It was a pass play, and uh, I just felt like pocket got a little tight. So I and I saw a gap up the middle, and I was like, I can beat that slow linebacker up the middle. So I'm just gonna take <laughs> off and go get us some positive yards. Yeah, some people some people are turning these into RPOs where if this guy goes out hard on the snag or the stick, you take off, but you just right. turned it into an RPO yourself, I guess. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, and you're right, 53 didn't have a chance, bud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys run any RPOs, Luke? We do, we do. We have uh we have a couple. Um they uh they they put a lot of uh quarterback uh mm -hmm. run plays and run options in there for me this year because uh, I'm 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 decently mobile, um, so uh, so they I'd use so. my advantages. Have you run a forty, sir? Oh uh, yes, sir. I have. Um, last time I did it, it was like four eight, um, and that was that was a while ago. I haven't done it in a long time. I think that was over a year and a half ago, um, and that was the last time I'd done it. Even if that. yeah, even a, a four eight as a freshman, you're probably running a four four seven four six by the time you put some leg muscle on yes sir that would be nice <laughs> <laughs> all right what's what's going on here this you, you take off for a big play but it looks like another broken play yeah um so here is uh new hampstead game um uh and just it was you know we we just just switched quarters it's the second quarter it's our first drive um, last drive, we went down and threw a Z route for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. um, so we were feeling ourselves there. Defense was absolutely killing them. Um, they couldn't do anything against us. So um, I was talking to the offensive coordinator, Coach Phillips, and I was like, man, we got them here. Like, they, they can't do anything against us. Like, we, we can beat them <laughs> any way possible. Um, so he was like, all right, you're feeling it, so let's let's throw the ball. So um, it was supposed to be a uh, – a, um, supposed to be a four verts. Um concept and uh everybody was supposed to go vertical and i saw a one-on-one -on -one matchup over here to the right um with uh my guy thomas blackshear um and uh you know one-on-one -on -one matchup usually i'm going to take that because i mean no one can guard that kid especially not the kid on him uh he's got no <laughs> chance so i saw that um uh, but you know i just got pressure early um it was a it was a tried to get them to bite on the uh the fake handoff there we put number two in motion um and uh so they brought the house um, and so I just felt like I had to get out of there. So that's what I did. Yeah, probably the right call there. And I don't <laughs> think you had enough time. Oh, that's interesting. So is this a just a route conversion down here? Um, is he just bending this inside or just? Yeah. Yes, sir. He's a uh, he's super smart. Um, he's he's a really, really good football player. Um, so. If he sees something, he'll he'll do it. We we've kind of been on the same page. Just this was this was the game right before playoffs started. Um, so you know, it was deeper in the season and we kind of got a kind of got a better connection um with the receiver. So 
if you know we'd kind of if they saw if they saw something I'd, I'd usually see it too so uh you know they they do some things and uh that's you know you just just go with it so is this your first or second full year at quarterback this season we're watching currently um this is this was my first year and i actually this is this play right here is my first ever uh high school touchdown um, oh cool first drive good we timing out. <laughs> yeah we played uh so actually uh tavion gatston um actually plays for this team um, oh interesting yeah 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 and so uh i so this is actually my first first career passing touchdown in high school and uh so what happened was the drive before we got the ball and the drive before we went three and out and uh mm. they they uh they blitzed and uh Tavion got free somehow off of the off of our tackle and absolutely smoked me. I let the ball fly and then it was incomplete <laughs> and then he smoked me after the play. So I was like, all right, that's how you want to play it. We'll see about that. <laughs> um, and then this is the uh the first play of the next drive and uh you know um Zaquan is just a freak athlete and no one can guard him so I just throw a bomb out there for him and uh he tracks it down yeah so uh this this looks very similar to a play you'll probably end up running uh at Florida State at some point in time um what do you guys call this uh so we call this a uh 260 um and it's 30p260 so it's the running back is faking a run up the middle to try and get the linebackers to bite um, usually that six, we don't really usually throw that six. Um, but I saw it was one-on-one -on -one coverage and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I like my dude over anybody, um, every day. I just, I know him and I know the connection that we have. So I took that there, but usually, um, that six will clear out, um, will clear out a corner or a line or a linebacker that they yeah, have one of the two. on them or a safety, whoever it is, it'll clear them out. Um, and so I'll, I'll, it would leave room for that two to just that slant, um, a two route, um, to just come pop wide open and just he'll have some some room to run. So I, I put a whole sh put a little shot on him there, um, and if that's not there, just the check down to the zero route from the from number three. Um, he runs. It's almost like a little bubble route. Yeah. Um, but I, I saw this here and I was like, this dude can't guard Zaquan, so I'm gonna let it fly. And you were mad from the drive before a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean. He hit me after the play, and I was like, "All right, if that's how you want to play it, my guy, then we can do that. That's fine." <laughs> yeah, there, there is no respect here. They're like, "We've got a, we've got a brand new quarterback in here. Never played a game. We're gonna bring this is." I can't. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that ended yeah, up being a pretty no dumb state. move, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, and I mean, we didn't even get to finish this game. Uh, we ended up, I think it was like forty-five to six. We were beating them, and then some some crazy thing happened in the stands and the game got called because supposedly somebody pulled a gun or something like that but oh uh, fun times all yeah, right yeah, yeah no kidding <laughs> uh their 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 little uh their little quote is it's different on duran that's where they're at and uh so uh you know we were kind of messing with them about that the whole time saying i guess it really <laughs> is different on duran so, so luke you're telling me your first high school touchdown pass went 50 yards in air <laughs> perfect stride no that's a nice yeah, sir. i mean it was uh you know it was i mean great route by kwan um, oh you're so good. humble i love it man that's perfect <laughs> good job quarterback good job <laughs> dude you know you know yes, how many sir. quarterbacks yeah, this he makes me look good so i, I gotta give him some respect for sure yeah, but, uh, yeah loves the, his, i mean the line gave thing. me just just the right amount of time to let it to let it rip and uh you know that's that's what happened well yeah, yeah norvell loves this route so uh, i'm glad that you're used to throwing it man <laughs> yes sir i'm looking forward to doing it in garden and gold yeah, yeah dude camden fryer tawasi abrams is going to look pretty good running that route not bad at all all right so this 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 right here is the state championship game uh it's it's zero zero the weather was terrible like it couldn't have gotten worse it was like downpouring the whole game um balls were all wet it was just it was terrible conditions um and uh, it was just a complete like slug fest you know it was blow for blow um nobody could get in the end zone defense was both defenses were playing lights out um and it's actually it's like third and third and like i think 16 um i got sacked the play earlier a dude came off the edge i was looking right and uh nailed me in the back that that didn't feel too good but uh it's all right um and so <laughs> 
So the next play, we we come back with this, and um, you know, we hit him with with a comeback uh, to to Zaquan on the outside, um, the right side far receiver. We hit him with a comeback on the run, um, and you know, he comes back and gets the ball, and then he gets up the field for another two yards, and uh, we convert, and uh, it actually it led to another play that you'll see later in the highlight film. Um, which is which was a broken play where I take off and it actually ends up leading to uh, the first score of the game. Adam, what do you think of this throw? <laughs> Same like I said earlier, it's a freaking missile. <laughs> is this a design rollout? Uh, it is. It is. So we call this uh, 60p. Um, we called it 60p money, and what it is is it's a comeback by the number one, um, and then the slot has a corner route mm -hmm. um, and kind of just you know. Wherever you have leverage, you're going to take it. And uh, so I was rolling out to the right, um, and I, you know, I saw Quan come wide open, so I just put it on him. Yeah, you guys do a good job of uh, kind of isolating your good receivers on these on these wide, on these corners and cover four. Yes, sir. Of course, you can also throw a 15 yard comeback on the run on the sideline. It does tend <laughs> to help, yes. All right, what what do we got going on? So this is this is Christopher Columbus again. Um, yeah. So this is the drive right after um, that 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 first touchdown that I had against them, where I got absolutely smoked on while rolling left on the wheel route. Um, so this is the next drive. Um, it's it's you know third and five, um, and uh, you know we we were feeling we were feeling ballsy. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We saw we saw that they were jumping on our hitches, um, and in a third and five situation, we usually throw hitches. Um, so it was it was just you know we just let it air it out for them, and uh, you know receiver you know made a great play um, to track the ball and fell right into his lap, and uh, you know it ended up being pretty good. That's tight coverage too. That is that is phenomenal. yeah. I got to give That's respect to that Christmas place, Columbus team. They had an unbelievable season, and I mean they had dudes all around. I think. Uh, I think they had uh, TJ Capers, like the number one linebacker in the nation for our class or something like that. And uh, he's number one right there. And I mean, that dude was just a, I mean, he's, a, he's a freak. Um, he roughed me up a couple of times, uh, but uh, it's all right. I'm not going to, I'm not going to duck from anybody. I tried to run through him a couple of times here and there too. <laughs> oh, I see you on the running clips, man. You're always throwing the shoulder at the end. Yeah, you give, yeah, you give yeah. it a little bit too, my friend. <laughs> I feel like I can take anybody and run anybody over. So I'm, not, <laughs> I'm always going to go get that extra yard too. I don't like running out of bounds. That's not really my thing, but uh, it's you know, I get in trouble here and there. You might get you might get capers again in the ACC. He's committed to Louisville right now. Is he? Yeah. So wow. that'd be that'd be a fun uh, matchup in a couple of years. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I have to get my get back because they whooped our butts. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it. You know, you know what I like about this clip, especially I, I couldn't stop looking at it. It is third and five, and they have safeties that are back fifteen yards. Yes, sir. They were. Um, it, I mean, they made my life hell this game. They were. Uh, their whole their whole thing was, y'all aren't gonna y'all aren't gonna throw the ball on us. They were dropping eight for most mostly the whole game, um, yeah. just trying to make my life hard, which uh, which kind of stunk. And I mean, they were still bringing like three and four here and there. And I mean, they were still getting to me um, just shows the type of players that they have there. And um, so I got to give them their respect, but uh, yeah, they'd drop eight, but they'd bring three and they'd, they'd get after me too and make my life hard. It's, it's kind of hard to do anything when you're dropping eight and you got three dudes coming at you and making a, uh, making a disaster for me. So uh, I got to give them their respect. Do you, do you work that drill a lot with coach Denny or with your high school coaches, just dropping that ball in the bucket? Yes, sir. All the time. Um, Coach AJ, you know, he'll put trash cans out there for me um, and we'll do drills before practice where we drop it in a trash can. Um, so be 40 yards out trying to put the ball in a trash can and uh, we'll do stuff like that. And then, um, you know, just just accuracy things like you hitting the crossbar from from 50 out, stuff like mm -hmm. that, um, just dropping it on a dime and stuff. Um, and that's that's really what I mean, I got to give, you know, Coach, they're uh, got to give him some love because uh, you know they definitely train me for this type of stuff. Luke, can you see that question on the on the screen? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to read it uh, from Briley. Luke, what's one part of your game that Coach Norvell to, and Coach Tukars are telling you needs the most improvement? Um, 
Yeah, just uh, I would I would say that, uh, you know, when we talked about stuff, it's been more of about um, just just getting the knowledge of the game down and, and more experience um, just because there's been so little experience. And this is my first year going, um, you know, kind of just getting the feeling for everything and seeing different things and stuff like that. And just having the experience of, uh, you know, being in different type of situations and just knowing knowing what the best move is in those type of situations. So. Um, I definitely see that experience is is the uh, the biggest thing that uh, we have talked about, and uh, kind of just you know knowing what to do in all the situations. You ever bounce uh, ideas? Oh, go ahead, Adam. Well, I I'm curious. The second part here. Ask ask your question, there, Troy. I was just gonna say, you ever bounce ideas off of Coach Norvell, Luke? Like when certain game situations after the game is done, like say, hey, Coach, I did this, like and like what would you have done, or what would you want your quarterback to do? You guys have conversations like that. Um, not more coach Norvell, but more, uh, coach Tokarts. Um, okay. and actually, uh, coach Denny. Um, so we, we, me and coach Denny, we, uh, he set it up to where every Thursday before the game and, um, before every game, we'd, we'd go over last week's film, um, and, and kind of see what happened and just, he'd talk me through what he was seeing and what I was seeing. And, you know, we talk about stuff like that. Um, and then we talk about the, the upcoming week and stuff and, uh, so coach, so coach Denny and I would do that. Um, and then coach toe cards here and there, we'd, uh, I'd come in for, to come watch a game. Um, mm -hmm. and after they have meetings where they'll take, he'll take all the quarterbacks in the room and we'll just chat it up and he'll just be like, so coach toe cards, like I'm the, I'm the dude that's going to be recruiting you and you know, all that good stuff. And then yeah. they'll, they'll all leave and I'll, I'll kind of stay back and, you know, we'll kind of just, you know, chalk it up on the board and just talk about some things and route route concepts and stuff. And like, what do you, what do you think I should do here on this play? And I'll pull up the huddle and stuff like that. So we'll do a little bit of that here and there. Love it. So the, the second part of that question was about what you, what you view as your biggest strength. Um, I would just say my biggest strength is my will to win. Um, you know, I'm completely fine with, you know, throwing the ball eight times a game um, and, or in running the ball 30 times a game. Like I'm completely fine with that. Like whatever the team needs me to do to, you know, put us in the best position to win is what I'm all about. Um, and, you know, I'm just super competitive. Like, I mean, I, this year I probably begged our coach to put me in on, at safety for the defense. Over <laughs> times. Like, I wanted to get in there and, and, and stick some things yeah. and, uh, you know, rough some people up just because I felt like I could help, I could help the team. Um, and so I, I definitely say like my, my biggest strength is, you know, doing whatever I have to do to, to get the win. And, you know, just I'm all about winning. That's all I really care about. Love it. Love it. Kev, we're going to go over some more film, or is that about the end of the tape? Uh, there's plenty of tape. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Oh, yeah. Get Adam off there. I'm not going to lie to you, Luke. Sometimes I watch these plays, I'm just like, geez. <laughs> that's, a, that's a friggin' – that's a throw. Yeah, I got to give uh, give some props to my, my receiver, LaDon, here. I mean – He's six foot four and a basketball player, and he can jump out the roof. But uh, you know, he saw he saw me get some pressure up the middle to where I escaped, um, and and really he was supposed to sit down right there. Um, it was supposed to be like a a, a post curl, and he was going to sit in that sit in that little gap right there in between uh, the corner and that linebacker. Um, but uh, you know, I got a little distressed and had to move. Um, so he does a great job of you know seeing me on the move and and you know doing the same thing, um, and kind of just the connection that we had helped out a lot. And uh, he, he kind of moves it back out um, on the scramble drill. And, uh, you know, he makes a great, great play coming back to the ball and, you know, big, strong hands pulling that thing in um, through contact. Your recall on this stuff is, is impeccable. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm beyond impressed with how you can recall. Oh, man, things. I mean, I'll come home after the game and probably watch the film at 3 a.m., watch through it three, three or four times. Just, you. you know, beat myself up like, man, you had that right there. What are you doing? Um, that's what separates kind of guys, man. That's that's yes, stuff sir. that separates the good ones from the great ones. Yes, sir. Me and my dad, man, just come home after the game's up at 3 a.m. watching the stuff and just, you know, he's busting my chops. <laughs> Busted yeah. the defense ass on this thrower, man. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you on campus housing uh, at your high school? Or are you, are you – Um. So, no, it's actually uh, – it's actually not not that type of military school. Okay. Um, you know, they they have a JROTC program, which yeah. you're not required to be in after your uh, sophomore year. Um, but you still have to have the haircut and everything and all that good yeah. stuff. But uh, 
I get to go home every night um, and, you know, everybody That's goes good. home. So there's not really any uh, – you don't really stay on the campus. Cool. One, ones in my area, a lot of them are – you stay there. That's why I asked right. that question. Yes, sir. All right. So this is this is very similar to that first play we showed. Yes, it's actually the same exact play. Um, it's 40P Hawaii, um, you know, hitch on the outside, corner by number two. Um, and then running back um, has a seam. Um, and that, I mean, our running back, he's a freak. I mean, the dude, some of the catches that he's made this, this year were just unbelievable. I mean, he's putting his body on the line, catching that ball over the middle and just getting popped, but he's hanging on to it, so. It's actually it's actually pretty cool. He's uh, he was like our, our third leading receiver on the team, actually, because, you know, we'd use him on wheel routes and seams up the middle. And so he did. He'd absolutely uh, have a field day doing this type of stuff. Yeah, that's, it's always nice to have a running back that can kind of kind of do both. Um, yes, sir. Make you look good. So uh, Riley has a good question. Uh, are your eyes on that seam route? What does he um, see that got him to pull the trigger? Is this pre snap? Is this post snap? So Pre-snap, pre-snap, I'm looking at split. I'm looking at uh, middle field open or middle field close. Yeah. Um, if I see the middle field close is, isn't there, um, I'm going to take my eyes away. Um, but uh, you know, this is this is later in the game, um, and we we've seen that this is here um, while coming back while coming back after the uh, after the the recent drives before we've seen that this this throw could, throw is there and that I can make that um, and that uh, in this type of formation they're keeping uh, middle field open. Um, and we just felt like, you know, our, our, our running back can, can get, get right behind those linebackers. And I, they felt, you know, the coaches trusted me to, to be able to put the ball in that, in that tight spot right on them. Um, and so that, that's how it worked. Um, usually right here and there, I'd probably end up hitting that hitch for, for a good five. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an easy throw to make. And uh, so I kind of, I'll look off, look, look to the hitch a little bit and then come, come, come back into that seam route and just put it on them. Um, but really, it's pre-snap to see if middle field is open or middle field is closed. Yeah, at the next level, what you'll start to see is these linebackers that can swivel their hips and follow and follow this seam route and carry right. them to the safety. Yes, sir. So <laughs> being able to put it on a dime level, is important. So we're, we'll have to get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is yeah, this is a great throw. Luke, do you have a favorite quarterback you like to watch? Um, so I'm a big Joe, Joe Burrow fan. I think that that dude is like the swagger that he has is just awesome. I mean, I mean, I don't know anybody who has more swagger than him. I think that that dude is just unbelievable. And, you know, I think his story is awesome how he came into LSU and just absolutely tore it up and, you know, probably could be one of the arguably the best, um, best NCAA teams ever, um, college football teams ever. Um, he could be, you could put him in the argument for that. Um, so I, I just think that that's awesome. You know Joe Shiesty and stuff, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it's tough because I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and um, you know I, I have to watch him beat up on our beat up on my Steelers um, every year. So so that's not fun. But uh, other than that, I, I mean I love watching him play, um, and I think he, I think he's an awesome quarterback. How's a Georgia boy become a, a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? Uh, family ties. My dad okay. actually, his dad, um, you know, he was born in Pittsburgh. And okay. uh, his his dad was actually, you know, born in Pittsburgh and lived there all of his life. Um, and then they moved to Connecticut area. But uh, they were always Steelers fans. And um, mom didn't really have a favorite team. So we kind of just born into a Pittsburgh Steelers family. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Josh, Josh Martin in, in the chat, a, a Noel fan. This is an important one. So think. Oh, God, fans. this one. You got to know. <laughs> Are you a Gatorade guy or a Powery guy? We're going to forward oh, this to the defensive line coach. Yeah, we, we got to go Powery. We, we, can't do the, we can't do the Gatorade here. We got to go Powery. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, Odell well. even gets to the offensive guys. That's fantastic. <laughs> Both sides of the ball, man. Uh, any anything else? In here? I know there's some good questions in the chat. I think we yeah, I think we, 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 we got, hit we most of them. Phone. There's not a lot more action in the chat. Well, I think we've I think we've we've taken up this young gentleman's time quite enough, Luke. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Say to Noel Nation, anything like that before we head on out? Yeah, just uh, this class is going to be special, um, you know. And uh, Coach Norvell's the guy, um, you know. I'm all in on Norvell and the program, um, and you know we're going to be going to some great places. And 
I really do feel like they're going to bring uh, Florida State football back to the prime and back to the winning days. Um, and I, I, these next couple of years are going to be special. So um, y'all get ready and buckle up. I love it. Luke, I, I enjoyed it. Um, as long as you don't decommit, we'd love to have you on again to watch some more For film. Sure. That'd be fantastic. I That's had a great time. time. Fantastic, time. man. I appreciate it. Zach, appreciate y'all. Kevin, AB, anything else before we wrap this bad boy up and get out of here? Yeah, I actually had a question. Um, I think I saw your dad uh, launch like a, tail, a new tailgate game. Oh, what yeah. was that all about? Um, so it was actually uh, – it's called All-Star QB, and it's kind of like cornhole football. Um, and it's actually a funny story. He was uh, interesting. too old, too old to, you know, play, <laughs> play football on the beach uh, with me and my brother. And, you know, it'd get a little Come rough. Oh, man. And, you know, he just wants to sit in the beach chair. So he got a little lazy and he was getting a little old. So he couldn't do the whole, you know, running routes and throwing the ball and stuff because uh, he was getting up there in the age. Uh, so we actually, we went on a vacation and uh, just, you know, he created this game. It was, it was two trash cans in a pole and it was, you know, it, you hit it in the trash can, you get these points, and you hit it in the pole, you get a point, and he kind of just played that, and then he kind of just built it up and evolved it over the years, and uh, so now he's got a, a legit business called All Star QB, um, and it's it's pretty much like you, you can play cornhole for football. It's you can get two sets and play cornhole against somebody. It's football. It's awesome. Or you can um, what he calls is the All Star game, which is basically four quarters you get four downs you set up a distance and you got to hit the target and uh it's like a point system that comes with it and all and it's uh it's actually taken off a little bit um and nice. so it's, it's pretty cool and uh you know it's it's I, I call myself the uh the all-star qb because you know i'm the best <laughs> in the family and nobody can beat me um, you, got, you got to get it going at the fsu tailgates for sure. Yes, he, sir, for sure. luke does he sell that online you got a website he for does. that yes sir he has his own site it's allstarqb.com and uh yeah he sells them listen all you heathens go there and keep the chroman hawks we want we want an extension to the house just throw all the money at it it sounds good cornhole's <laughs> dead long live all-star qb straight yes, from the sir. all-star qb's mouth guys another outstanding maybe the most outstanding edition of the ov featuring zach blostein for kevin little for coach ab for zach blostein for me but most importantly for the bedrock of the Tribe 2024 class, four-star Luke Cromenhawk, he of the Sean McVay level recall, and just, I, I felt good, Luke. I've never been called sir so many times in my entire life. I feel like a million bucks. I feel like I actually have some authority, so I, I love that. Guys, we will catch you on the next episode of the OV. Thank you for being with us, and uh, keep chopping.